This episode of D News was proudly made possible by the all new 2015 Subaru Legacy. It's not just a sedan, it's a Subaru. Hey Tara, check out this drawing I made. Aw, it's adorable. How yeah. old were you? I drew it this morning on, on my way to work. Oh. Hey guys, Tara and Trace here for D News. And if you have kids, then you're probably inclined to think that everything they do is special and amazing and perfect in every single way. Which is fine, encouraging your kids is great. But what about those drawings they bring home from school? You know, the crappy ones? Like this. What even is this? Is it a bird? Is it a person? Who knows? If you must know, it's Grimace from Ronald McDonald Land Place. Oh, actually that's not that bad. I didn't have purple. But what does this drawing convey about me as a person? Well, according to a new study, our drawing abilities are actually correlated with our intelligence, which actually may not bode well for me now. Yeah, no. But back to the study. So a team of researchers took a group of children, all age four, and asked them to draw a picture of a child. And then they scored each picture on a scale of zero to 12 based on how many features the child correctly identified. Head, eyes, nose, arms, ears, legs, etc. So my drawing, which I still maintain as a masterpiece, would be about a six, because it got a body with arms and legs and a head with eyes and a mouth. Correct. So they had children do this drawing test, and then they tested their intelligence levels at age four, and then again at age 14. Turns out the kids who had higher scores on their drawing at age four were also found to be more intelligent, which isn't super duper surprising in itself since the test was created as a way to assess the child's intelligence. But what is surprising, that even a decade later, the correlation between intelligence and drawing skills was still evident. Meaning, your ability to draw figures at age four is closely tied with how intelligent you may be at age 14. Now don't panic if your kid is a bad drawer. The researchers behind the study point out that drawing ability doesn't necessarily determine intelligence, they're simply correlated. And there are tons of other factors here to consider. Precisely, so for the second part of the study, they conducted the same test, but on pairs of identical twins who share all of the same genes and would presumably have very similar upbringings. What they found is that drawings from four-year-old identical twins were more similar to each other than drawings from pairs of fraternal twins who only share about half of their genes. So clearly there is a large genetic component here, but what does that actually mean and what information can we extract from it? Well, according to the author of the study, the results don't necessarily imply that there's a specific drawing gene since our ability to draw is based on tons of different factors, our parents, our teachers, even our peers. That said, if we were to make a comparison between drawing ability and say, writing ability, then it makes sense that both of those things would be related to intelligence. At the end of the day, they're really just ways for us to express what's inside our heads, right? Which is a pretty clear indicator of our overall cognitive abilities. Hmm, cognitive ability, you say? Okay, let's have a fun little experiment. This is a picture I drew of my family when I was three and a half. Aww. I think I'm supposed to be the green one. That's nice. Now technically, if we're talking strictly features, mine would score at about a six. By the way, I have no idea what's going on with the arms in this photo, but apparently everyone in my family had an extreme comb over, so that's fun. Oh, well, here's a picture that I drew of my family when I was five. As you can see, I've included pretty much every feature except for the ears. So according to this test, I am a genius. Yes. According to this test, you are a genius. What do you guys think? Obviously you watch our show, so we know you're intelligent, but are you a good drawer? Let us know your answers in the comments below, and as always, thank you guys for watching.